Hi everyone, great to have you here. Look at this in front of me. What's it look like? Hmm? Yes, it's a golden box. Why is it a golden box? Is it, are there riches inside? What's in there? <gasps> oh, something that will last long, longer than gold. A story. Yeah, it's a parable. A story that, well, once we hear the story and we keep it with us, it lasts our entire life and helps us too. So let's see what kind of treasure is in here, huh? Well, first we have to somehow piece it together. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Well, let's spread it out and see. Oh, is it a giant leaf from a giant tree? Hmm. Well, maybe. Could it be, what do you think? What? Oh, a grassy field? Yeah, that, that's a wonderful idea. Or a football field? Well, it probably hasn't been invented yet back in the old days, you know? Look at that. Hmm. Well, I like the idea. A grassy field with all kinds of good, nutritious grass growing everywhere. Must be well watered, hmm? Well, let's see what else is in this wonderful golden box. Oh, look at this. My goodness. Well, this is... Is it a piece of the sky? Hmm? No? What could it be? It's blue? What things are blue, hmm? Yes, there's all kinds of things that are blue. The water? Oh, you think it's water? Like a lake or a pond? Oh, that's a great idea. Wow, yeah, let, let's put it right here. Let's put it, so we, so we have this big grassy field with all kinds of nutritious grass. We have this wonderful pond of water. Oh my goodness me, what, what, what is this? Wow, look at how bright this is and bright this is and colorful and colorful. These are dark, these are like, what, shadows? Well, yeah, I wonder what makes the shadow Something black, like, oh, maybe like lava? Oh, but you know what? Well, lava, when it cools, it becomes a rock. Maybe this is a rock. Maybe there's three rocks. Oh, boy, because they don't really give much light, do they? No, not a dark rock. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, so we have a grassy field, we have water, and we have rocks. Oh, let's see. What, else? what is this? Oh. What do you think this is? Is it pasta? Brown pasta? No, well, could be. Is it a road? Is it a, a, a rail? Is it a, a train go over it? Think of all the things this could be, but what if we do something like this? Let's put them like this. Now what are they? Ah, they're curves and this is a road, right? No? Hmm? And it could be a, a pathway. Or it could be, well, maybe there's a river that flows through here, but we don't see it getting to the lake. It's, wonder, it's wonderful to wonder when you see a story evolve. You wonder what's, what's happening here and what things are. Well, let's see. What, oh, my goodness, there's a whole bunch of these things. Well, let's put one in here. This, I'll tell you, let's go like this. Ah, it's a horseshoe? Well, it could be a horseshoe. <laughs> what, what about here? What if we do... Oh, it's a, yes, it's a square. It's not a circle, it's a square. Lots of things are built in squares, right? What do you think it could be? Foundation of a house? Maybe, maybe a corral for animals? Maybe, maybe it could be, you know, a, some kind of enclosure for a whole village, a wall. Hmm, let's see. There's a whole bunch of these, so let's, here, help me put these on there. There's that one there. And then we have another one here. Oh, yeah, let's build it higher. That's right, we're building it higher. So what do you think, as we're building this, what do you think this is? It? Oh, yeah, yeah, great idea. Yeah, it's a corral or it's, a, it's an enclosure. Yeah, an enclosure. So it's, it's, it's meant to keep something in, right? What do you think they would want to keep in, hmm? Yeah, you? Oh, no, 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 of course not. Yeah, you get freedom. Yeah. Well, how about this one? Uh -huh. Well, this could be a house. Yeah, it could be a house, right? This is kind of neat. Well, if it's a house, we we need to 
we need to decide to get how to get in and out. So maybe it's not a house. It, you think it's a fence? Oh. Well, if it's a fence, what's in here? Not people. Could be. Oh my goodness! Look at what I have here. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Ah, uh, now we know what it is, right? It's an enclosure. It's called, that's right, a sheepfold. And that's where the sheep are because the sheep tend to wander if they're just let go. Well, I wonder who takes care of the sheep. Well, there was a story of a man, a wonderful man. And, well, he took care of everything. And, you know, everybody followed him because of what he said and what he did it was all good. And so one day somebody decided, well, I'm going to ask him who he is, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, tell me, who are you? What's your name? And the answer was amazing. I am the good shepherd. I know every one of my sheep by name. And I lead them. I lead them into all kinds of wonderful places. How do you do that? Well, first we have a gate, and that gate allows me to take them out. And every day I take them out. And here he is. Oh, my goodness me. And he walks and he walks. We have several different things we can use. Let's do this. Let's have him walk. He opens the gate, and the sheep listen to him. They know his voice. They trust him. They know he leads them into wonderful places. And then he closes the gate. And then he takes this journey. And he says, I lead them where there's good grass. And they eat and they're happy. And oh, the grass is so nutritious. Oh, they love to eat. And then I bring them to water. So they have plenty to drink. So they come to the lake. That's right, the lake or the pond. And they drink and they drink and they drink. And ah, they slake their thirst. And then he says, now I'm going to take them on a journey. And he takes them to a rocky mountainous area, which is a, another way back from the lake to the, to the enclosure. <clears throat> And he was careful because these can be dangerous places. There are other animals that hide in these mountains or that live in these mountains. And he needs to keep his sheep close. And they listen to him and he guides them. And so he takes them to what could be a very dangerous place. And he watches over them as they come through, one by one. Then he leads them back out to the safety of the grass and the open fields. And they voice their pleasure. And he leads them back and then back. One, and he counts them. Two, three, he counted them before he left and he counts them when they come back. And then he comes in and he counts one, two, three, four. One is missing. He's the good shepherd. And if one is missing, he immediately wants to take care of that one that's missing. He loves all his sheep. And so he closes this to keep them in. And he goes back the way he looks and he looks. And he looks. And ah, one wandered into some little bits of grass. And so he takes the sheep, and sometimes he even carries the sheep right on his shoulders, and he brings that missing sheep back. And then he opens the gate, lets them in, lets him in, or her, and now they're all safe. And you know, that's what a good shepherd does. Always take care of his flock. Always take care of his people. If he was just an ordinary shepherd, what do you think he would have done, huh? You think he would have gone to the trouble of going searching through everything? No, probably not. Probably didn't care much, an ordinary shepherd. You know, there's a story about that, but just to be brief, it's sometimes, you know, 
there may be wild animals out there, and what they, what they do is they, they have to feast on whatever food is there, and if there's a sheep there, well, they may go and find that sheep, and if there's no one to protect the sheep, what could happen? But the good shepherd, he's not an ordinary shepherd. He really takes care of every single one of his sheep all the time. If one is missing, he makes sure that that one is found. And when one is found, oh my goodness, what, what a treasure, what a jubilation, what a wonderful celebration. And so, it's just a story, but it's a wonderful story because it has so much meaning. I mean, what do you think is a, was the best part of the story? What do you like the best about? Hmm? How about the Good Shepherd? Yeah, I think that's the main part of the story. But also there's a landscape, there's beauty. You can imagine seeing all these places when you listen to the story. Yeah, And when you hear the story, you think about, well, how much of that story is maybe about me? Who is the Good Shepherd anyway? Ah, maybe there's somebody watching over us all the time. And when we follow the lead that comes to us, the wonderful love that comes in our direction, we respond in the same way. And so the Good Shepherd, well, who do you think it is? Yes, it could be God, it probably is, but it also could be your mom and your dad, people who love you and would make sure that you're safe and they lead you into wonderful places where you can go. And so it's a parable. It's a story that can have many, many meanings. Like Put yourself in this story and think of what you would do. Of course, you'd be a good shepherd too. And so, take this parable, tell other people about it, and enjoy it, and listen to it. And then think about how you might be able to be a good shepherd all the time, and follow a good shepherd all the time. So, let's put the sheep back. <laughs> Is a treasure because a story can be told again and again and again. Oh, and let's the good shepherd, let's him go back in there too. And here's our landscape. We take apart our fence since there's no one enclosed to take away anymore. Oh, look at that. That's going to be a good fence. We'll put that back in the treasure box. Yes, and we're going to take care of these dark stones. No, no wild animals there today. Thank goodness for that. And our beautiful lake. And finally, we roll up this wonderful field of grass where our story took place. And you, now, can have some wonderful work that you can share yourself.